Damn, you look awful. Why didn't you mention that you slept with CJ? Is he your source? How do you know? Answer! Well, kind of. I slept with him. He promised information about the parasites. Instead, I got a bag over my head and a syringe with a tranquilizer. What if I tell you I found a floppy disk in his locker? Would it be easier for you to guess the password? Oh, why didn't you say that earlier? Paul, we need to hurry. You're about to be paralyzed and then you'll mutate, but we can still save you. I'm gonna send the poison formula to your PDA right now. Paul, please, there's no time for that. Night, zookeeper. Paul Connolly. Idiot. Moron. What the hell did you tell that CJ's wife? I warned you that you have to do everything they tell you. Do you know what I'm going to do with you now? You've already done everything. I have a parasite inside me that turns me into a mutant. So that's how it is. You probably noticed that the animals didn't touch you. It's because of the parasite. Only thanks to it, they see you as one of their own. In short, Paul, you've messed up a lot, but it can still be fixed. Finally send that Watkins to the grinder and wait for me at the entrance. Only then will you get the antidote and maybe keep your job. Who is that? Metzger? What did he say? I have to feed my family. Good morning, Paul. How was your night? It's time to feed the mother. Oh, Paul, you're doing great. The other subjects have been paralyzed for an hour by this point. You probably noticed that the creatures haven't bothered you. It's all thanks to the parasite. Now we just need to decide whether to remove it from you or not. I'm sorry, Paul. Mother is against it. Seems she's very hungry. She only eats what she kills herself. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother, bon appetit. Poison is ready. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Only Doc has access to the biometric lock from the mother's enclosure. And the mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. I'm sure there must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to inject the poison myself. <laughs> you need to do it. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this. Just wait for the doc. This is doc. Faster. Inject me with the poison, Sarah. Hey, Paul, what a pleasant surprise. Usually your colleagues pass out in the most unexpected places, but you got paralyzed right next to Mother. Saves me the trouble of dragging you. Yes, Paul, you are right. This is the end. It's just amazing how all of you pathetic losers fall for the promise of success and money. But let's admit it, the only thing you're good for is food. Mother, my girl, it's lunchtime. What the hell? This is for CJ!
Poison is ready. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Only Doc has access to the biometric lock from the mother's enclosure. And the mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. Sorry. I have to get back to my wife and daughter. I just have to wait for the doc and cut off his hand. Idiot! You won't be able to! You're about to be paralyzed! Then I need to hurry. Paul, my friend, where are you? Come here. It's time to see how you fared during your probation. Hey, Paul, how are you feeling? Wake up, Paul. Mother likes her food to wiggle and squeak. Don't worry about Miss Watkins. She was hiding in the lab, but I found her and served her to Mother as a hot appetizer. Hear that? Mother likes it. Goodbye, Paul. Tell Mother bon appetit. <laughs> It's okay. I won't touch you. I'm the night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. And you? Sarah Watkins, investigative journalist for Pine Valley. Thanks for saving me. Too bad I can't return the favor. Why do you need an axe? If you could see yourself, you wouldn't ask. And also, you smell like vomit. Want to freshen up? I guess I should. Sarah, what the hell? Sorry, Paul. You can mutate at any moment now. And I want to live. Stay here for a while. Bitch, I saved you! Paul, Paul, it's morning. Where are you, my friend? It's time to check how you handled your probation. Hmm. This is strange. <laughs> oh. 